Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have the Holly Jolly Christmas tag. I wasn't tagged by anybody, uh, but I felt like this week I wanted to do a Christmas tag specifically. I saw this video on Lauren of Lauren and the Books channel last week, who also saw it on Alice from the Book Castles channel at some point. So I don't know where it originated, but there's some questions about Christmas, so I'm going to answer them. Let's start with the questions. The first one being favourite Christmas movie. I think it's Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I was running through them in my head and going, I'm up, it's Christmas Carol and the original Home Alone and the Grinch, but yeah, Home Alone 2, I just have fond memories of. And I can remember discovering this years ago because my granddad used to record films straight onto video for us and we'd watch them when we went round. I recall finding this one on the old electric piano he had in the front room and watching it for the first time and just thinking it was so new and I think it inspired a longing for a lot of 90s kids to go to New York as Friends did, as 30 Rock did. Uh, I don't know whether I'll ever go because cities and people aren't necessarily my most favourite things but I do like that film. Two, are you on the naughty list or the nice list this year? I know people say that there is no naughty list this year because of everything we've been going through, but honestly, this year has proven that there are still quite a few arseholes on the planet. Unfortunately, I am a horrible human being. I am literally one of the worst people to ever disgrace this planet. So if there is a naughty list, I am definitely on it. And I am at peace with that. Three, have you ever had a white Christmas? I have had a few. So where my grandparents used to farm, that used to get like what we'd call Scotland weather. It's very near, it's very close by, but it's in the hills. So whenever they'd get snow forecast in Scotland, we knew that it was going to be snowing on the Cat and Fiddle Road. They'd get snow a lot. I know that we had snow in Reno, up our own field where my siblings, we never had a sled, made their own sleds out of bin bags and dustbin lids and would sled down the field. I never did it myself because I was a very scared child and if snow ever appeared, you could get, guarantee I would quarantine myself to my house and not leave because I was worried about slipping over. I recall one Christmas where me, my brother and two people from one of the houses on the street had a snowball fight, play around the neighbours' cars and our cars. So yeah, we've had white Christmases before. And I'm aware people like go for the whole special thing of there being a white Christmas, but does it does it add majesty to it? Does it add any extra sort of magic to the day? I'm not sure. Personally, I think it just ser snow serves as a reminder of winter. And I think people like that. And I think people are looking for an excuse to stay in the house and not do anything. Four. Do you start your Christmas on Black Friday or do you wait until the last minute? Now, obviously, I think this is aimed towards the American heathens amongst us, and that's perfectly okay. I previously started listening to Christmas music on the 1st of November. I have watched A Muppet's Christmas Carol in June. Christmas for me isn't a one month of the year type of thing. It's not a last minute thing. It's a feeling that you can have at any time. It's a little sprinkling of joy and a reminder of things that come at the end of the year. We are looking in the pagan way of celebrating and looking at the shortest day, the longest night. We are trying to raise our spirits because we are aware of how dark and dismal and dreary the winter months can make us despite there being tons to celebrate. We're feeling cold and we are oftentimes just reflecting and if things have gone bad in a year you're going to reflect them on most heavily at the end of one year and the start of the next. Christmas for me there's no specific time for it to start but I say I am never last minute. Five, if you could be in a Christmas movie which one would it be and why? I think I could be the Grinch. I think that I could isolate myself in a mountain somewhere, just me and a dog and a ton of inventions. I dislike portions of that film and portions of the stories I've seen. I've never seen the original, so it could be different, but they always seem to show the residents of Whoville bullying the Grinch as a child. And honestly, the fact that he just wants to go and steal Christmas seems like the least he could have done. Like, in revenge plot lines, it's not really much. 
if you were going for what he'd actually been through in revenge plot lines, I'm just saying, I could have made that darker and more twisted and more horrible given five minutes. Petrol. I wouldn't have just been burning down a tree. That guy who teased him in the Jim Carrey version for a hack job of his beard. Yeah. There are things I could have done there. The My version of The Grinch. You don't want to see it. Six. Name all of Santa's reindeer. I don't know. We have the Beyonce Red... Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer song. This used to be on a quiz we'd give to the year sevens when I was at school. I could ask Google, I'm sat right by my computer. I don't know. I usually say Dasher or Dancer twice. You see, you may as well just give me flaming the seven dwarfs from Snow White here. I cannot name all of Santa's reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Donna, Blitzen, Comet, Cupid. And it says there's six here. Uh, no, it doesn't. It says, that's the question. Name all of Santa's. There's a vixen in there and there's another one to make it rhyme and then you got Rudolph and I honestly do not care. Um, also, like, farming family. I'm a vegetarian myself, but I know that if anyone within my family had seen any of Santa's reindeer just milling about, they're making venison and having cheap cuts of meat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to admit it. Seven, when does your family put up the Christmas decorations and who does it? When I was a child... We used to have a cupboard in the flat in our living room and my mother would just push the Christmas tree in there at, on the 6th of January and she'd pull it out on the 1st of December fully decorated. We moved to the 12th of December at one point, I don't know why, and for the last few years my sister has taken up the Christmas decorating because she is a control freak and everything has to be done to her specifications. I nearly put up my own tree this year if I'd had the room just so I could put my baubles on there because my sister hates my baubles. I really like a tacky Christmas and she wants something mildly sophisticated. Eight. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? For 10 years now we've had a real tree. Nine. Peeking at gifts or being surprised. I need the surprise. I need the surprise. I used to hate knowing what I was getting. I It just dampens it for me. I need surprise. I need to not know. If people are asking me what to get me, then I'm that terrible person who is like, you don't know me? You should know me. And also I do give hints throughout the year, so I'm not that guy. Like I'm always saying what I want. It's just other people's responsibility to acknowledge what I've said and remember it. 10. Show us your ugly Christmas jumper if you have one. I no longer have a Christmas jumper. Uh, Roz over at Skelly Dandling about the books. Let's see if I can show it. I like an ugly jumper. Not necessarily Christmas. I just really like the idea of finding the ugliest garments that I could wear and um, putting them on. So this very, very old baggy jumper was in a rag bag at work. And my manager pulled it out and said, this is ugly. Is it to your taste? So I brought it home. I have never called it a Christmas jumper. I've worn that throughout videos in the entire year because I've never thought of it as a Christmas jumper. Last week in a video, when I talked about Christmas traditions, Ross says, he has no tradition, says the man wearing a Christmas jumper. So that could be an ugly jump Christmas jumper. There you go. 11. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Really? I can't be socially distant beneath mistletoe. 12. Does your family have a special Christmas recipe you like to make? No. I do all the cooking. 13. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? If I could wrap everything in newspaper, it would be easier, but I hate wrapping in wrapping paper. Um, if I have brown paper available, they will get it in brown paper. I am not a pro rapper. I despise the process of wrapping stuff, but I do love seeing people open the gifts. 14. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No. At school, I, primary school this is, I did become part of the choir in like my final year or whatever, and they thought I was an all right singer. And then in high school, I never joined the Christmas carol service they did, the Christmas singing service they did every year. Um, my sister did it. I didn't. 15. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? No. I think that New Year's resolutions are there to make you reflect and try and... I think people start make, thinking what they'll do in the new year and really the attitude should be not to wait until the new year. If you want to make a change in your life, make it on the day 
um, that you've decided that change needs to happen. Do not build it up and try and do it just because it's a new year. You should be constantly striving to better yourself. 16. You have been granted one Christmas wish. What is it for? Wow. That wants me to be a bit less selfish, doesn't it, that question? That really wants me to be less maudlin. And I think that that could be a wish. I think I would be selfish here. Or maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I would take that and use it for everybody. There we go. We'll take my wish for myself and we'll apply it to everyone to feel less lonely and to feel less sad. Because I think we all need moments of sadness and loneliness to help us build as people and to be fully formed humans. But I do think that some of us have it built into us that we just dwell on those emotions a lot more. And so I would like to lessen that. And that's that. I have completed a Christmas tag. I hope that it wasn't too maudlin. I hope it wasn't too all over the place because I got to edit this thing. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video because until next time, that is all.